Social Entrepreneur Blake Mykoski. Blake Mykoski is the founder of Tom's and the person behind the idea of One for One, a business model that helps a person in need with every product purchased. Blake Mykoski was born in 1976 in Arlington, Texas. After first attending Arlington Martin High School, he graduated from St. Stephen Episcopal School in Austin in 1995. Mykoski attended Southern Methodist University on a partial tennis scholarship and elected a dual major in philosophy and business. After an injury he sustained as a sophomore, which effectively ended his tennis career, Mykoski left SMU. Between business ventures, Mykoski competed in the CBS primetime series The Amazing Race. With his sister, Paige, he traveled the world and came within minutes of winning the $1 million grand prize. He is an avid reader and traveler. A serial entrepreneur, Mykoski established his first business in the mid-90s with EZ Laundry, a door-to-door campus laundry service for students as a freshman at Southern Methodist University. Originally focused on SMU, which had no on-campus dry cleaning service, EZ Laundry expanded, ultimately employing more than 40 people, servicing three universities and generating approximately $1 million in sales. Mykoski sold the company to his partner in 1999. Following college, Mykoski traveled to Nashville. Inspired by the booming billboard industry, he set up his own outdoor media company, Mykoski Media, focused mainly on marketing country music. The company was quickly profitable and was bought by Clear Channel nine months after its launch. Mykoski pulled his resources with his sister to launch Reality 24-7, an all-access TV channel providing non-stop coverage of reality TV shows. Although the network had moderate success, it folded in 2005 after Rupert Murdoch launched the Fox Reality Channel and Outbeat Reality Central for advertisers and programming. While Blake Mykoski may not be a name you are familiar with, the company named Tom's will certainly ring a bell. An early example of social entrepreneurship, the shoes were created to appeal to a world audience. Shoes for a better tomorrow, later shorter to Tom's, was started in 2006. Later on, we present to his idea, the company Tom's. Actively engaged with NGOs and a frequent guest at global conferences and philanthropy, Mykoski also plays a pivotal role in promoting social entrepreneurship startups. He has also launched a social entrepreneurship fund investing in purpose-driven, for-profit companies. Here is a video about his view on becoming an entrepreneur. You know, I, I went to college actually on a tennis scholarship and that was my kind of passion and focus growing up as a child and uh, had no kind of entrepreneurial influences in my life. Um, but uh, when I went to college, uh, unfortunately, I had a really bad injury uh, when I, my sophomore year uh, at SMU, and I hurt my Achilles tendon. And when I was had that injury, I was on crutches, and so I couldn't take my laundry actually downstairs. So um, I was sitting around frustrated that my laundry was piling up, and I thought, you know, no one likes to do laundry. I never liked to do laundry before I hurt myself, but now I actually need someone to come pick it up and do it for me and bring it back. And that service didn't exist at my university. So I came up with the idea to start a business called Easy Laundry, where we'd pick up and deliver laundry. And I didn't even know what an entrepreneur was at that point. Um, but very, very shortly, the business started taking off, and we started getting more trucks and employees. And I started learning about all this stuff. And I kept on being referred to as a young entrepreneur. And so then I, I realized that that was, uh, that was something that I, I loved, and I want to continue. And I really haven't stopped since then. Really, uh, I started my first company uh, when I was 19, and that was a laundry business in college. From then, I started an outdoor advertising company that um, spe- focused on putting ads on the sides of buildings. So instead of building out big uh, billboard displays that are very expensive, we would take the side of a building and paint an ad on it, uh, and that was called Mykoski Media, and we really focused on the Nashville market for country music. Uh, then from that, I went on and started a television network. Uh, it was called Reality Central. It was me and the founder of USA Networks and the CEO of the E-Channel. And uh, it was an all-reality cable channel we launched in 2002. 
Unfortunately, we went out of business in 2005 after a three-year battle with Rupert Murdoch and his Fox Reality Channel. So then after that, I went on and started uh, a technology company that provided driver's education for teenagers. Um, what we did is we realized, you know, teenagers are online all day long, whether it's MySpace or, 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 or Yahoo or wherever they are, and uh, they hate sitting through an eight-hour class, and their attention span is a lot shorter than it used to be. So we took the eight-hour class that you would sit in and divided it up into dige digestible chunks with a flash interactive program and it was called driver's ed direct and you could take your driver's ed directly online and we launched that in 2005 and it uh, really took off and that's actually what I was doing and running that company when I originally had the idea for Tom's. Really I serve as an advisor still to driver's ed direct. I sold my interest uh, in January um, and then with uh, the other companies I've, I've since sold out or like I said the reality challenge went out of business so I'm 100% focused on Tom's now. From shoes to eyewear and later a book, Blake's unique approach to business has awarded him with numerous accolades. In 2009, Blake and Toms received the Secretary of State's 2009 Award of Corporate Excellence. Former President Clinton introduced Blake to the audience at the plenary session as one of the most interesting entrepreneurs he has ever met. People magazine featured Blake in its Heroes Among Us section and Tom's Shoes was featured in the Bill Gates Time magazine article How to Fix Capitalism. In 2011, Blake was named on Fortune magazine's 40 under 40 list, recognizing him as one of the top young businessmen in the world. Other awards and honors include Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health Next Generation Award in 2015, he was a keynote speaker at South by Southwest Interactive in 2014, USA Today, 5 Best Communicators in the World in 2013, ISPA Humanitarian Award in 2013, ABC News Person of the Week 2011, keynote speaker at South by Southwest in 2011, Bloomberg Business Week America's Most Promising Social Entrepreneurs in 2008, and People's Design Award from the Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum in 2007. Born out of a trip to Argentina where he witnessed the issues children without shoes were facing, Mikowski formed Tom's with the intention of donating a pair of shoes to a child in need for every pair that was purchased from his company. Let's see a video presenting this idea. What if I started a shoe company and every time I sold a pair of shoes, I gave a pair away? And that way, if as long as I continue to keep selling shoes, these kids will have shoes for the rest of their life.
Designed as a for-profit business which continually gives new shoes to disadvantaged children, Mykoski created the one-for-one -one business model. The company donates a new pair of shoes for every pair of shoes sold. The desire to do the model as one-for-one -one was that it would be easy to keep track of. In hindsight, this simple model is what has made Tom successful. Consumers can clearly understand that there is a direct impact from their purchase. Today, the shoes are sold globally in more than 1,000 stores. The company currently earns an estimated $250 million in annual revenues. Their idea is that with every product you purchase, Tom's will help a person in need. Over the years, the company has expanded to areas such as eyewear, water, safe birds and anti-bullying programs. A simple idea has grown into a global movement in developing countries. Tom's humble beginnings happened unintentionally. Mykoski visited Argentina on vacation in 2006, where he met an American woman who was part of a volunteer organization which provided shoes for children in need. Mykoski spent several days traveling from village to village with the group, as well as on his own. It dramatically heightened his awareness. Although he knew the poor children around the world often went barefoot, but now, for the first time, he saw the real effects of being shoeless. The blisters, the sores, the infections. He also learned that many children get sick or injured because they do not have shoes to wear. To combat this, Mykoski returned to the United States, invested $300,000 of his money and founded the company Shoes for Better Tomorrows. His solution to the problem was simple, yet revolutionary. To create a for-profit business that was sustainable and not reliant on donations. Tom's pledge to donate one pair of shoes for every one sold and now expands the one-for-one -one campaign to support water, sight, bird and anti-bullying initiatives. Initial goal was to donate shoes to 250 children by selling stock in small local boutiques and stores in Los Angeles. By 2010, shoe sales had reached over 1 million pairs and they were stocked in all major retailers. Tom's also quickly garnered a strong fan following on social media sites. Tom's work with more than 100 giving partners to provide health, education and community development programs to help improve the future of children, their families and communities in need. The gift of shoes. Tom's shoes are always given to children through humanitarian organizations who incorporate shoes into their community development programs. Their giving shoes are brand new and made for school and play. They provide multiple styles and offer a range of sizes to fit kids from toddlers to teens. Shoes are given in countries like Argentina, Ethiopia, Haiti, India and Kenya. To help create and support jobs, Tom's committed to producing one third of their giving shoes in regions where they give. Tom's has given more than 86 million pairs of new shoes to children in need. What the purchase supports? Improved health, access to education and confidence building. The gift of sight. Tom's eyewear purchases provide a person in need with a full eye exam by trained medical professionals. Tom's supports treatments for three of the most common vision issues. Tom's has helped restore sight to over 600,000 people in need. Not only does a purchase help restore sight, it supports sustainable community-based eye care programs, the creation of professional jobs, often for young women, and helps provide basic eye care training to local health volunteers and teachers. It also supports economic opportunity, gender equality, access to education, and restore independence. The gift of water. At South by Southwest in 2014, Mykoski announced the launch of Tom's Roasting Company, a company which offers coffee sourced through direct trade efforts in Rwanda, Honduras, Peru, Guatemala and Malawi. Tom's Roasting Company donates a week of water to people in need in supplier countries for every bag of coffee sold. Each bag of Tom's coffee provides 140 liters of safe water, a weekly supply to a person in need. Tom's Roasting Company purchases have helped provide over 600,000 weeks of safe water to people in need. By supporting the creation of sustainable water system, they are able to help entire communities with access to safe water, which leads to improved health, increased economic productivity, job creation and access to education. 
the gift of safe birth. Infection is a leading cause of death among mothers and newborns worldwide. Tom's Bags purchases provide training for skilled birth attendants and the vital materials needed to help a woman safely give birth. Tom's has supported safe birth services for over 175,000 mothers. What the purchase supports? Delivery of safe birth kits, training for skilled birth attendants, and healthy delivery for newborn baby and mom. The gift of kindness. In the United States, nearly one of every three students report being a victim of bullying. Tom's High Road Backpack Purchases help provide the training of school staff and crisis counselors to help prevent and respond to instances of bullying. Partner is focused on training entire school communities, teachers, students and partners to create bully-free campuses where all students are included. What the purchase supports? Training of school communities and training of crisis counselors. What started as a company has become a movement. Through the Tom's brand, Mykoski has raised awareness on issues like global poverty and health. They believe that when you incorporate giving into your business, your customers become your marketers. They spent very little money on advertising and marketing. Since they started, they've done only a little online marketing and they have never done any traditional advertising at all. Their customers are their evangelists. They have a great desire to tell their story. Millions of customers have done this for them, whether it's to a spouse, a work colleague or a friend. Let's hear Mykoski's words on mission behind Tom's. I started Tom's, I guess, nine years ago now, it's hard to believe, when I was living on the sailboat. But the simple idea that, you know, uh, I saw many children around the world who didn't have shoes and uh, they weren't allowed to go to school because of that. And I wanted to help them get the shoes that they needed for school. So we created this one-for-one -one model where every time we sell a pair of shoes, we would give a pair to a child in need. And since we started that nine years ago, we've helped about 38 million children. It's been much more uh, successful and effective than I ever imagined. And since then, we've been able to, because of all of our travels, and many of them, Heather and I have been on together, seen so many other ways that Tom's could help through our, through our business model, through One for One. So a couple years ago, we started uh, designing uh, beautiful sunglasses, and every time we sell those, we help pay for uh, cataract surgery for someone who's blind, or give children the prescription glasses as they need to go to school and so that's been uh, really gratifying to get to see how we've moved from shoes to helping people with their eyesight and then most recently we launched a coffee company. We realized we could by getting in the coffee business really trade directly with the farmers and help improve their lives by allowing them to trade directly with us and not have to go through the big export middleman company. So it's been great. We've opened up cafes in uh, Chicago, New York, LA, Austin, uh, Portland. We just opened up London three weeks ago and we have a store in Amsterdam and our coffee sold in all the Whole Foods. And then we also launched a, a line of like tote bags and backpacks to support uh, maternal health issues. So it's been really fun to kind of use the one for one model uh, to go beyond shoes and help in these other ways. Mykoski thinks the one-for-one -one model has incredible potential to help people in many more ways. His hope and dreams and vision for Tom's is that he can continue to use the one-for-one -one model to positively affect many things, whether it's food, water or something else. In 2014, Mykoski announced that Tom's would launch an additional one-for-one -one product every year. The one-for-one -one model he has found is really effective in allowing a consumer to know exactly what's going to happen. There is no crazy accounting. You buy a pair of shoes, they give a pair of new shoes to a child in need. Mykoski is passionate about inspiring young people to help make tomorrow better, encouraging them to include giving in everything they do. His hope is to see a future full of social-minded businesses and consumers. Mykoski published the book Start Something That Matters in 2011. For every copy of his book sold, Mykoski promised to give a children's book to a child in need. 50% of royalties from the book were then used to provide grants to up-and-coming entrepreneurs, and Mykoski increased this to 100% in late 2012. In August 2014, Mykoski sold 50% of Tom's to Bain Capital, 
retaining his role as chief shoe giver. He will donate 50% of the profits from the sale to establish a fund that identifies and supports social entrepreneurship and other causes. Bain Capital committed to matching Mykowski's donation to the fund and will continue the one-for-one -one business model. While giving feels really good, it is also an effective business strategy. It makes a lot of sense the same way conscious capitalism makes a lot of sense. Tom's popularity has spread like wildfire, which is a good thing, both for Mykowski and for the people that Tom aims to help. And how would you create a better tomorrow? Before coffee provided safe water. Before sunglasses restored sight. Before even the first pair of shoes connected a guy in Los Angeles to a kid in Argentina. There was a belief in a better tomorrow. A belief that everyone has the ability to create change. 12 years and 88 million acts of impact later, we believe it more than ever. But to create the kind of change the world needs now, it takes more than a belief that's been tested. It takes action on a scale that hasn't. So we're calling on our community, the artists and the activists. Dreamers and doers, students and service people, from Illinois to India to take stand with us. We stand for equality. We stand for opportunity for all. We stand for our environment. We stand for citizenship in action.